Hello, hello! This is Lauren Weibert. I'm a Proctor Gallagher consultant, and that means I help teams and individuals win big. Thank you for joining me today. I'm excited to be with you. And what I wanted to do today, hopefully if it works, this is round four, attempting to record this, <laughs> is do a little bit of a, a question and answer session. Um, so I've been hearing a lot of people asking questions and wanting to know a bit more about my story. And so I figured if I put them all in a YouTube, then I can direct people here if they need to meet with me at a different time. Of course, I'm happy to do that. Um, anyway, just thought that this would be a nice format to get to know me a little bit better. Because if we end up working together, of course, you're going to want to know uh, what my story is. So I will also tell you that my... Um, trusty assistant Shane, <laughs> my big white dog, he is a Great Pyrenees rescue. He is with me. He is, um, again, my assistant. He's not super helpful, but the reason he's in the room is because he barks a lot and uh, that's not always conducive to making YouTube videos. So, fair warning, he might be um, making a cameo in the video, but if that's the case, he's just telling you that he loves you. So. Away we go. Here are the questions. Dear Lauren, what exactly are you doing with your life right now? Um, great question. So again, I mentioned I'm a Proctor Gallagher consultant and that means that I can help individuals or teams connect to their higher side so that they can lead more productive, fulfilling, happy, enriching lives because you get one go around as far as we know and I think that we should all be making a difference and be living the type of lives that we want to live. So it was it was that constant um, pull in me uh, that helped me decide to finally um, make my dream a reality, which is helping other people make their dreams come true. You know, in short, when I work with people, we are figuring out their specific goals. I'm listening and finding out where are you in your life right now? Where do you want to be? What do you think might be standing in your way? And then I hold people's hands as we go through the process. And um, not only do we make those goals happen, but then my clients get to experience all of the growth that comes with that as well. So that's exciting for me. That's fulfilling for me. And that's why I chose to become a consultant. Next question. Why did you leave real estate and insurance? So great question. Uh, a, a little bit more about me. So most recently I've been a real estate agent with a wonderful firm. Um, prior to that I was an insurance agent and a team lead with the company that I was with for a number of years. And before that I was a server and a bartender. And before that I was an elementary school teacher. So I have been quite the jack of all trades, but the, the common theme in all of that is um, I love pouring into other people's lives, helping them achieve their goals, helping them learn something, but I'm also an entrepreneur. I tell people I'm half teacher and half entrepreneur, so this is honestly the best fit for me that I've ever found. I'm happy to be in exactly this place, but the question of why did you leave any of those previous um, types of work is because of the word fulfillment. So I tell people, I think there's two types of people in the world when it comes to work. Number one is you can wake up in the morning and go to work, do whatever your job is, you're, you're happy there, but you really truly find your fulfillment outside of work. That's one type of person. The other type of person is the type of person where if you don't find fulfillment within the work that you get to do, then you don't want to get out of bed in the morning. And um, over the past few years, as I've been making adjustments to my own career, there were a lot of days when I just didn't feel effective. I wasn't finding fulfillment in my previous roles. And so um, this was the next obvious step for me. It was, it was something that I've wanted to do since I hired my first coach in 2015. You know, I remember that, that feeling. I was with the insurance company at the time. There was some coaching built into 
the structure there, but I wasn't getting everything that I needed. And so I hired independently, I hired my first business coach. And since then I've had multiple different coaches in my life. Um, some of them very talented, all of them very helpful in their own ways. Um, a couple that I wish that I hadn't have worked with. Um, but all in all, I remember thinking in 2015 with that very first one, you know, oh, I'd like to do what she does someday. But at the time I was feeling a little bit unqualified. Mm, three years has passed and the, that calling was still there in me. And so not only was it the calling of, I'm not feeling happy and fulfilled in my current role, um, but also it was the calling of, I know that this is exactly where I'm supposed to be, um, helping other people in this way, serving people, you know, partnering with people to help them make their wildest dreams come true. That's the best job ever for me. So um, again, I'm so excited to be here and I love that I was able to find this opportunity. Um, that's something that I'm passionate about, uh, helping other people do, you know, whatever that looks like for you. We all have those callings deep inside of ourselves, you know, those big goals that we want to make happen. Um, but a lot of times, you know, we're looking to guide you know, we're looking for guidance from the wrong places. And what I found was that typically if people hire a coach, that's a person that they can be honest with and, um, you know, learn from that coach helps you stay accountable to what you truly desire. And thank God I was able to finally put that all together and here I am. So that's why I left those previous industries. Again, I'm super thankful that I have this convoluted path of getting to exactly this spot. Um, I, I think that, you know, because life has kicked me in the teeth a few times <laughs> And because I have failed miserably um, multiple times, but also because of those previous careers, I have had some tremendous wins too. I, I, the, the wins far outnumber um, the amount of times that life has kicked me in the teeth. But because of that experience that I have through those previous lines of work, I get to bring all of that now to help other people in this role. And um, not only are they getting... Um, coaching and training and the material that Bob Proctor and Sandy Gallagher developed um, through their years and years of experience, but they get me too. Yay. So something I'm hearing also is, Lauren, I already have a coach. How are you different or how can you help me? Wonderful question. Because like I said, you know, within a lot of companies, the great companies, they do have some coaching built in. Um, typically what I've seen is that those companies build in coaching to, you know, help you learn something more about how to do your job or the coaching is built so that you can accomplish, um, you know, a corporate goal or sometimes it's your boss giving you the coaching and your boss might not have the same types of goals that you have for yourself. Um, that's what I found in my own personal experience. And so, yes, for the people that already have a coach like that, I can probably bring a lot to the table because when we work together, we work on professional goals, but we also work on your personal goals. And sometimes you do need an outside opinion, um, you know, from outside of your, your corporation that you might be working for. And that's what I specialize in. Um, there are a lot of other really wonderful coaches out there. Uh, how am I different from them? Well, I like to tell people, this ain't your mama's sales 101. <laughs> so I'm, I'm joking as I say that, but people know me from being a, a field trainer for the insurance company. Um, I was with Aflac, wonderful company, and my role was a district sales coordinator. And so that mount, meant that I was out in the field training people not just how to sell insurance, but how to run a business, um, how to be a six-figure earner, um, you know, how to put that all together. So is this sales coaching? No. Do I happen to be good at sales and understand the process? Yes. So I bring that um, to the table, 
but the programs that I facilitate are not necessarily, you know, sales focused. So keep that in mind. Um, you know, people ask me, what is your title? What should I call you? Are you a life coach? Are you a business consultant? What is this, Lauren? Well, the best way to explain that would be, uh, you know, I'm a Proctor Gallagher consultant. I will put the link for my website. You can learn a lot about what I do there. But essentially what that means is I am helping people learn how to use their higher mental faculties. I teach people how to think because the concept is thoughts become things. As a man thinketh, so shall he be. Um, this, these concepts are as old as time. They're found in every world religion, psychology, you know, science. For every, everybody from those fields that, um, that disagree on all different points, the one thing they can agree on is that thoughts become things. So what this coaching and what this training is all about, the programs that I facilitate, it's all based on learning how to use your human mind to reach that infinite potential that's inside all of us because if you can think about it, um, you can have it. And I show people how to do that. So I call myself a mindset transformational coach. Um, you know, I'm not the type of coach that will just answer questions, you know, hey, I have a question, can we do an email coaching? Or hey, can you do a one hour session? Sure, I could do that. But what I would rather do is take clients through a process in which they are devoting a certain amount of time and money investment in themselves. And then we work together for that amount of time. I hold their hands through a process. I'm a systems girl. I love systems. Remember, I'm an elementary school teacher. So old habits die hard. I have lesson plans. I have lessons that I facilitate. And when we go through those lessons together, that's where the transformation takes place. So that's basically the answer to those those questions. I kind of threw a bunch of them all together at once. It's you know, how are you different? I'm, I'm going to be able to help people. I do help people with a variety of, you know, whatever it is that they want, but it focuses on mindset. So it's not sales coaching. I get a lot of people saying, oh, are you like coach so-and-so, blah, 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 down the street? Probably not. <laughs> there are about 1,300 Proctor Gallagher consultants in the world at this point um, that I'm making this video. It's um, May of 2019. As far as I know, I am the only Proctor Gallagher consultant in Nashville. I am one of two Proctor Gallagher consultants in the state of Tennessee. Um, I have my certification through Proctor Gallagher Institute. So, um, you know, it, it's, it's a unique type of coaching. It's always based on what each client wants and needs. Um, yes, I have sales experience, but it's not, this ain't, this ain't sales 101, friends. So keep that in mind. All right, next question. How do you get paid? That's wonderful. Uh, I'm glad that you asked. So um, again, I mentioned that I have programs that I facilitate. So I can offer you things that are, you know, small self-study courses uh, all the way up to we're partnering together for six months. And obviously that's a different financial commitment. But how I get paid is, um, you know, I have courses that I facilitate. So book a strategy session with me. Those are always no cost. Um, that's 30 minutes. I'll put the link in the comments section so that you know how to find me. Um, but book a session. In that session, which is no cost, we will talk about, you know, where are you right now in your life? Tell me about you. You know, where are you in your business? Where are you personally? Where do you want to be? You know, everybody's got these burning desires inside of them, and it's different for each person. Um, and then we'll put a strategy together uh, that's the right fit for you. So um, people pay me directly, um, and then I use some of that money, obviously, to pay for my time, 
for the coaching, but also then clients get the materials that are associated with the course that we choose together. You know, which course are you going through? Which course is the right fit? Um, we decide that in your strategy session or in a, a series of strategy sessions. Um, and then that determines the price and then the, the program that you end up participating in. Next, why did you decide to become a Proctor Gallagher consultant? Well, that kind of goes hand in hand with the next question too, which is who is Bob Proctor and also who is Sandy Gallagher? So I mentioned a little bit earlier that I have been, I have been contemplating becoming a coach for almost four years total. It was, it was before the four year mark that I made the decision to just jump in and do it because that was my calling. But, um, you know, I had been contemplating a lot of different things in that time. You know, I had figured out when I was with Aflac, essentially I'm a coach. I'm showing people how to do something that they had never done before. I'm holding their hand through a process. Um, I was showing people how to leave their W-2 jobs and become their own boss. I was showing people not just how to sell insurance, but how to run a business, how to have more fulfilling lives, how to become a six-figure earner, um, and people are still doing that without my help. Um, back when I was a teacher, essentially, I was a coach too. I was putting a little first grader under my arm and saying, oh, hello, it's the first day of school. And at this point, you don't know which letters are which or what sounds they make, but at the end of this specific amount of time, I'm gonna make sure that you know how to read. Um, obviously, that was one of the most rewarding times in my life, um, teaching people, you know, one of the skills that sets us apart from all the critters is our ability to read. So um, essentially, the decision to become a Proctor Gallagher consultant was driven by that. I'm a systems girl. I love taking people through a process. I'm already good at that. And Proctor Gallagher Institute had all of that built for me. Um, if that's something that you're interested in looking at for yourself, please, I would welcome the call. I'll show you how to get connected because it's the personal development field is, is a wonderful place to be especially if you have some sort of a background like mine and you have that calling to still be in business for yourself. Um, but again, the Proctor Gallagher Institute is the right choice for me because I, the thing that held me back so long from being in this role was because I didn't know what topic. I knew I could be a sales coach, but I didn't want to necessarily just stick to that, you know, small avenue. Um, I had looked at other, you know, life coaching programs or what have you, but ultimately PGI pulls the layers of the onion back so far to the point where it's just the foundational level of, let me show you how to use your higher men mental faculties in harmony with the laws of the universe that are out here operating and then it's a science, it's a system, it's a process. And if you know how to work your mind and you can flex that muscle and learn again how to use that, then you get to see that success over and over and over again and you just pick a different goal. It made so much sense to me. Um, it was just such an easy decision once I figured out, wow, this is already built for me. Again, I get to be in business for myself, but I'm not by myself. I have a whole host of people that I can go to if I need questions answered. I have that support system. Um, but also the no-brainer that was really there was, this is Bob Proctor. Um, Bob is my mentor now. I'm very proud to say that. Bob, um, his story, he is one of the world's greatest speakers. Um, if you haven't had a chance to hear him speak yet, look him up on YouTube. I get to go to his house in July um, and learn directly from him. Um, I've, I've already gotten the chance to do that in person at in-person training. And um, Bob, for those of you who don't know, um, he was just some guy. <laughs> He's been doing this for 60 years, nearly. It's 58 years at this point. Um, but, but 
60 years ago, he had two months of high school education. He um, went and joined the Canadian Navy. When he came back, he was earning $4,000 a year, and he had $6,000 in debt. And he never really considered that he would be anything more, you know, anything big was going to happen to his life besides that. And um, someone handed him a copy of Napoleon Hill's book, Think and Grow Rich, and told him that if he read that every single day, um, that he could change his life. And lo and behold, Bob went from making $4,000 annually to something like 150, 175 the very next year. And then within a few years after that, he was earning millions. And he, at the time, didn't really know how that had happened. He, he didn't, um, he wanted to, he made the decision to devote the rest of his life to studying how that happened and then be able to give that to other people. So um, Bob, again, uh, he, he, he left Toronto. He moved to Chicago to be under the mentorship of, of Earl Nightingale, um, who was uh, very popular at the time for uh, being a radio host and taking this personal development world into, into the, the airwaves rather than just the printed word. Um, and, and Bob has devoted his life and his career to personal development and, and sharing that with other people, um, since the early sixties. Um, he was literally just on his own for a long time, coaching, giving seminars, uh, writing books and, um, you know, just being Bob, uh, in 2006, he was featured in the hit movie and the book by Rhonda Byrne, The Secret. So a lot of you probably already know that book. Uh, and that kind of was what pushed him into superstardom. And this is, this is my partner. This is the, the creator. You know, this is Bob, Bob Proctor of Proctor Gallagher Institute. So I feel very confident in the fact that he has helped millions of people around the world get everything that they want in life and... Now this is someone that I get to continually learn from, and this is the material that I get to share with people uh, when they work with me. Sandy Gallagher kind of had the opposite story. She was, um, you know, head of her class. She was an extremely successful um, business attorney. She was doing bank mergers. Uh, she was in securities. She did $100 billion worth of bank mergers before she stopped counting. And once upon a time, she went to one of Bob's seminars and literally thought like, wow, for all of the huge corporations that I've gotten the chance to work with, um, <laughs> none of these corporations have this information built in to their systems. None of these, these corporate officers are teaching this material to their people. She decided at that point, and she wrote it in teeny tiny letters in her um, journal at the seminar that she was participating in. She said, I'll be Bob Proctor's closest advisor and business partner. And that's when the Proctor Gallagher Institute was born. So really, it's the best of both worlds. Um, they are a fabulous team, and I have all of that support of those two people. And so that's why I chose the Proctor Gallagher Institute. Next question. What's it like to work with you? Well, that's going to depend on what each individual person needs. Um, you know, again, I can I can work with such a variety of people. It's the question is always going to come back to, what do you want? What do you really want? Um, if you have a goal and a dream big enough. 